the man who calls Texas is the one the women want. But burn can show them with some crazy lowdown. before in my life. Never looked behind him. A draw like Dree's lightning. Shoots blind. And he cracked my whip stock in half with one shot. At more than 25 faces. You say he wasn't what? That's right. That's his crazy. It was just as I said. He must have had eyes in the back of his head, you hear? Because he didn't turn around.
you need to stop, I'll be up there. Okay. 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 that shot.
What have you got to say for yourself? No, I'll leave it. Peter. Peter. Floyd, and you made him to arrest him. Why? Uh, because he shot him in self-defense, so there was nothing he could do. And that goes the same for Brennan. I don't give a damn about Brennan. If you want it bad, Jason, then get that dumb old fool from under my feet. I don't like paying losers. Get that into your thick skull. Now get out of here. Take it easy, Mr. Clanton. Jason can be a very dangerous man. We should worry about the stranger. Old man Brennan can wait a while. Don't you agree, Doc? Ah, uh, Brennan can wait. First, I'd like to know where he got a hold of that watch. And second, why he's moved out to the old Prescott Ranch. And third, what the hell is he here for? Why'd he come to these parts? There's only one way to find out. We must ask him. Peter. Get Ross. We plant and run things around this town. Him and old man Prescott fought over the ranch that spring for ten years. Irrigated everything with, with blood. Prescott's son, Jimmy, was caught right in the middle of it. What about Jimmy's girl? He's Clinton's daughter, right? Yeah. What kind of a girl is she? She takes after her father in some ways. Quite prettier, though. I see a good girl with a mind of her own. And Clinton, isn't he paralyzed? Yeah, he took a hard fall off a horse. Lives in a chair. But he didn't paralyze his brain. He's uh, legs. Well, I must say, I'd like to see Clanton. Watch him like the snake he is. I will. You'll find me here if you need me, son. Good luck. Thanks, Dad. Mr. Cannon, take the men on over to the Prescott place and bring that troublemaker in. Alive. <laughs> Keep Mr. Clanton waiting. Move. Can we put our arms down, Mr. And we'd like to get our guns back. anything about your horses. You can't do it. It's too far. It's a real nice night for a walk. Now get moving. 
kill her. Ross means to kill you, regardless of what Pa said. He's real mad at you for making him and the others walk all the way back to the ranch house. You still haven't answered my question. Why did you help me? Did you do it for me or for some other reason? You want to know about Jimmy? Yes. I don't know how much I can tell you, except if you're still in love with him, well, he's a very fine man. If you have the patience, wait for him. But if he's not dead, why on earth didn't you tell Paul the truth? Your father's the sort of man it's best to lie to. I suppose you're right. What are you going to do now? You don't trust anyone, do you? Why should I? If I were you, I'd be thinking that way, too. But you're wrong, you Immer nichts? Nein, nichts. Halte die Augen auf. Thank you. 
Glenn. Huh? This was tucked into Ross's belt. Give it. Now, what about the Prescott business? Headquarters was pretty big. They told me you knew all the details, so I'd like to hear the whole story. About a year after the war began, Jimmy had joined up by then. His father was alone. You know, we had a bullion stage hold up a few miles out of town. Part of the missing cash that belonged to the city bank was found hidden in old man Prescott's bedroom. At the trial, he wasn't given a chance for that kind of black and white evidence. And the jury said, hang him, because in the attack, Bud Ng was a driver, and the escort was shot down by the bandits. Somehow, though, I've always had a suspicion that Prescott was, in fact, innocent, and that the whole thing was engineered by our friend Clanton and a few of his cronies in town. I never found any definite proof, but I couldn't get rid of that feeling. And that's why I wrote to the Rangers and asked them to send a man up here. I'm sure surprised to see you, son. What about the two accomplices of Prescott? Yeah. Only one was identified, a half-breed called Jerome. A half-breed, you say? There was one by that name running with the Amethyst gang about three months ago. I bet headquarters would know something about him. Send a wire in my name. Manuel, 
Yes, yes. And that one is Bob Ross. You want to stay around a while? Then give me your gun. Take them if you can. All at once. <laughs> Change your mind and have some food. No, thank you. Sheriff, and the law's my business. <laughs> and I intend to guard against that stranger being murdered every way I can, Plan. So you better leave him alone. If I should find it necessary, Brennan, I'll kill him with my own hands to get him out of the way as quickly as possible. Why don't you come to your senses, Clanton? And you, Mr. Counselor, do you have anything to say? How about you, Nolan? I'm a banker, not a gunfighter, Sheriff. And besides, I don't want to get involved. That leaves you, Doctor. Or ain't you involved either? I'm getting me the impression that man has got you all scared. He saves a whole bunch of you. Do I guess the right plan? Don't try and protect him. You won't get away with it. Nor are you, Mr. Clanton. Don't bet on it.
case. This place is about lively. Blue Hill. Where is everyone? Something wrong? The Ramirez brothers are in town. Peace! 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 Come, Sean, this, sir. can stomach anything stronger than beer. Do 
Is it Yellowstone? No. I found him just outside the town limits. about the Ramirez brothers coming in. But why the fancy dress, son? I had to dress up. I want to keep Texas as a separate identity. You were damn lucky that Kit and Bart had time to prepare that crutch for you. Yeah, real ingenious. Have you heard anything of Jerome? No, your headquarters hasn't answered yet. And don't worry, as soon as you do, I'll let you know. Now, if there's no one around, you better keep going. me ain't gonna help you, Jason. And handing Kit and Bart over to Ramirez is gonna finish you. I'll see to that. Having Clanton as a friend ain't gonna save you from the consequences. Why 
you stay here. I'm waiting for you. Come out in the open. Ah! Come out, if you are not afraid. Thank you, I have your friends here. They told me you and the soldier are the same man. I will go to the place where you killed Manuel. I'll wait there. Come, or I'll kill many in the town. Throw your gun down. And now, hijo de puta, take your hat off as a mark of respect to me. Face the tree. Face the tree. just one man with courage can do. Never thought I'd meet anyone who could make Clanton that scared. You've ruined him. And feel like a free man. Just for that, I want to thank you, Missy. There was nothing any of us could ever do with the power that crazy Clanton had. You know how it is. Would you like a drink, Jeff? Uh, no, thanks. That feels better. You know, you're a very good cook. I'm also very good at making fritters. <laughs> You'll make somebody a good wife. I could be for you. Better. 
I suppose I ought to explain all about the robbery. We had exact information on the stage, when it was leaving, the number of guys they'd be. That made it easy for us to prepare our plans. We set the ambush and it worked. We took all the money to this ranch we'd been told to go to and surprise the old man. The one you had last night is enough. You mean, I've been talking to it. What? You got a loco? You started to get violent, my son, and even swore. You'll be all right now. You can take him. doesn't matter that much. Wait! I gotta go where you're going! It's I'm going, life. that's all. I'm getting out of here at least for a while. It doesn't matter where I go as long as I'm away from you. Get those things into the wagon. If you leave this house, you'll remain out of it as long as I live. And I thought you understood me, Papa, but you don't. It's better that I get out before I really start to hate you. Left the county. He might be right. And you might be wrong. Just remember, it's trouble for us if he gets away. Rides in the morning, miss. Leaves in the afternoon. But I'll be staying in the hotel tonight. Miss Clanton. You're leaving.
Well, Doctor, what do you know of this disease, Rapalea? I'm a doctor, Jason, but I ain't never heard of it. I can only guess that it's one of the many new diseases that have come from Europe. It's better if everyone keeps away from the room and patient. Not to mention that crazy doctor. It's better if we get them out of this place soon. Let's find out how things stand in there. We sure as hell don't want to risk an epidemic. See you later. It's not so easy. But uh, couldn't you give me some idea? It's very special. Well, at least tell me of this danger of an epidemic. Uh, I'd rather not talk about it in front of the patient. I understand. You're absolutely right. Doctor, I suggest you wait downstairs. There's no use in you risking your own health with me here. That's very true. But please keep me informed. but I've got to do this. Then you don't know what it is. No, I, I never seen it before. Well, what do you think? I don't know, but somehow as a doctor, he's not convincing. What exactly do you mean? Well, it's just this Rapalee, if that's what it is, it's something I never heard of. A new disease. All right, I don't pretend to know everything. Living out here, it's difficult to keep up with things. Just what do you get that though? This strange that he wouldn't or couldn't tell me anything about it. Jack. Gladys. Hello, Gladys. And don't worry, my dear. He'll be all right. It's me that's going to be needing the help. like a gentleman while you're here. They're sorry to leave you in such bad company.
don't know your position, you know what you got to do. Tom, tell Jason we're ready. Pat, Jerry, you stay with me. Let's go. walk through the valley of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. Amen. If you'll excuse me. Hold it a minute. We got something to talk about. Yes, Sheriff. Then may I suggest that we show our respect for the dead and go to your office and talk, Sheriff, sir? Take his bag, Bill. Despite Jason and all your men. And it's your men that are being killed. All of them, Father, one by one, because of what you started. Did you say that damn troublemaking stranger is still alive? Yes, and you know why he isn't dead? Because Jason and my men are a bunch of idiots, that's why. No, because he's a Texas Ranger and he's settled for you. He's come here to find out the truth. Don't you have any? Don't you pity? Look at me, I can't walk. Confined to this wheelchair, now and forever. You were not my daughter. That's all right with me, because I no longer even want to be thought of as your daughter. 
Now I found out what happened to Prescott and exactly what you had to do with it. I see you as nothing but a two-faced, contemptible liar. A man who will go to his death responsible for many murders. And I'm his daughter. Not anymore, though. Gladys. 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 Day and I've got a mouth that's like a piece of jerky. Ooh, ah. Huh? Huh? Thanks. <sighs> Have you got any bullets? Not a bullet in the place. Oh, oh, oh. What's the matter with you? Oh, oh, oh. oh. tell you that with as soon as strong as it is around these parts, you've got to be very careful from sunstroke. Am I right, Kip? Jerome? Yeah, I told him you had a man with you who was supposed to be a witness. Let's go. What brought you back this way, stranger? Soon enough. I gave you that money now, didn't I?
All right, Jerome. Easy one. Repeat what you told me. Come on. I carried out the... the stage robbery. And hid the cash at the ranch. Under his orders. And someone else's. A man called... <laughs> uh. Um, have you gone crazy, Judge? This man was our witness, you idiot. Uh, uh. A witness about to furnish us with the details and Clinton's accomplice. And right at that point, you murdered the man. The word of a hat breeds meaningless. I know the truth, Clinton. And I know who your accomplices are. It's your word against mine. No court in the world would take it. Hard luck, stranger. You'll have to find some other witness to do anything. Your daughter, Clanton. She's our witness. She spent three days with Jerome, and I'll bet he told her everything. A daughter cannot testify against her father. And apart from that, my friends, no court in the world would condemn a paralyzed man. <laughs> Incarnation is this town coming to. I never would have thought it of the judge. Clanton forced him into it. He must have. Like he's forced others to do things. That poor lovely daughter of his wanted to leave town when Jimmy Prescott's father was hanged, but he made her go and watch him die. That man is capable of just about anything, believe me. Ranger? Over here. Get him up high. Now drop your gun. You and me. The final settlement, Ranger. It's where you get yours. You're not armed, Clanton. You go and pull that trigger now and you'll hang for murder. Don't worry, Doctor. I'll give the man a fair chance. He's a Ranger, though. And I must even up the odds. Peter. Get over there, you two. left in it, Ranger. That should even have the odds. Now turn around. This was that item back of your head. I want to make sure it's true. Get ready to die, Ranger. You ready? Behind you, stranger. But where? Huh? Where am I, huh? I'm waiting. Come on. <laughs> you threw away the last chance you had. Get away from that gun, Sheriff. Or I'll blow your head off. What happened, Ranger? Let's look at your face. Said you're so afraid you can't even think straight. Wet your pants. Feel a minute bullet yet? You will, Ranger. And you'll feel more than one. I'm going to kill you real slowly. <laughs> Bullet Ranger, and I bet it hurts. 
Four more to go. One by one. You figure that thing will stop a bullet? It won't stop anything. Wear it if you like. You're gonna die. What would have happened if it hadn't worked? So long, kid. Thank you. 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 Thank you.